guys, welcome back. Mike here. Another episode of Mike's RC Corner. This is part of the informational series. Uh, thank you for the comments on the first video that came out. Today, this one is going to be about uh, protecting your RCs from the number one enemy. And I'm not talking about your wife who's complaining about your RC budget being too big, but I'm talking about heat and how it can overheating will destroy your electronics. And one simple tool that's very handy, and I'm surprised not many RC hobbyists have this, is a temp gun. This is one I picked up for about 25 bucks off eBay. It's an HPI. You can go to your local hardware store now. You can find them with the infrared laser even, uh, you know, for the same price. And you can use it to temp your electronics. And I'll just show you quickly how this is done and what you want to be on the lookout for. So I just have one of my mini scale RCs here just for demonstration purposes. Uh, you want to temp the motor and you just hold it up against it you're close by and just point it at it and press the button and obviously this is just like the room temperature so it's 69.2 Fahrenheit. Uh, you can also temp the ESE and it is showing in at 69.3 so uh, the idea though is when these things are running and especially when you run these under load such as in tall grass or sand or in the mud uh, your wheels obviously don't run as smooth as they do on the road and a simple example is this is take a ball and roll it down your lawn and the ball will stop after 20 30 feet depending on how hard you roll it With the same amount of strength as you roll it down your driveway or down the road the ball will keep rolling and rolling and rolling and that that friction that causes the wheel the ball to stop if you run your RC into that obviously that is to putting the load on your on your electronics and the key idea is to, for brushless motors is to keep your temperature under 180 degrees Fahrenheit your ESC you want to keep at 140 or lower your batteries even get hot especially lipos you want to keep them under 110 your lipos will puff at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, most motors begin to have issues and will start breaking down and that's how you burn out your, your motor. Obviously, if your ESC overheats, it will, some of them will shut down, but a lot of them will damage and that'll be the end of that. Now, things you can do to prevent from the overheating is A, stop running. Second of all is keep an eye on the temperature with the temp gun and make sure you you, after a couple minutes you see if it is overheating stop doing that other measures you can do is put a motor fan on you can go to an ESC fan so you can put on this one doesn't have one on it um, also be careful some ESCs are say they can run 2S and 3S lipos and people throw a 3S lipo in it and they end up burning out the ESC but if you read carefully a lot of times they say you should uh, upgrade the motor fan motor on the ESC or even put one on or upgrade it and stuff like that and it's also very dangerous to have puffed batteries especially if your light bulbs and they can catch on fire and that's uh, very dangerous and you don't want to be storing them in your house and having them damaged I uh, just want to say also things you can do too is a lot of the bodies are quite form-fitting especially on cars and buggies uh, things you can do is drill holes in the windshield and that will let air flow through and basically you want to keep your electronics cool no one wants to pay for uh, replacing motors in ESC and electronics uh, and also it means downtime on your RC so keep an eye on those temperatures I also say uh, for nitro uh, nitro motors you want to get into the sweet spot is around 240 Fahrenheit for your nitro motor Anything above 260 starts to become dangerous and you want to add more fuel to the mixture. Uh, if you are uh, under 220, you might want to consider leaning out your, your fuel to air mixture and uh, to get into that optimal range. But obviously if you run a nitro motor too hot, you'll weld the piston to the sleeve and that's no good either. So guys, again, informational series, I like your comments. Uh, if you got any tips, leave them also. Um, I'm trying to do some improvement on the sound issue here. 
hope this turns out better some of my videos I couldn't post because the audio is really bad so I'm experimenting with different things so I hope this goes well so thanks again guys and we'll catch you again next time take care